Hey, it's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug, and somewhere around here is Stacy. She'll be showing up in a second. But uh, one of the questions we get a lot asked is, because we live off grid with no solar panels or nothing like that, is how do we handle the heat of the summer? So in this video, we're gonna give you a few suggestions and we're gonna show you or tell you or talk to you about how we handle the heat in the summer. I'm going ahead and making something for the sun oven today. Um, I'm popping in some grass-fed beef that we raised here on the farm and then I cut up some sweet potatoes and then some parsley from my garden and I went and got some lamb's quarter and I think I'm gonna put some tomatoes and some peppers and some seasoning in there and a little water and let it cook and we'll have a meal a little later today. Don't forget we are having a great drawing June 20th for the All-American Sun Oven so go ahead and sign up for that. Make sure you're commenting on every single um, video that we're doing. The links about everything are below. And also there is a great webinar with the owner of the Sun Oven um, on June 22nd. So we can sign up for that on All American Sun, Sun Oven and it will be linked below. Hey guys, and don't forget about your animals too. I mean, when you're hot outside, uh, your animals are gonna be hot too. I mean, we're changing the water constantly right now, making sure everyone's comfortable. Uh, watch out for any broodies, uh, broody chickens, you know, broody hens. If you have a broody hen, uh, you wanna keep a double close eye on them because they don't like to move around a lot. Make sure that their house isn't too hot uh, because they'll, they'll, they'll die actually staying on the eggs. So just make sure everybody, all your animals have water. Um, uh, your horses, if you have horses, throw them a block of salt out there. Um, Pratt Family Homestead, I know it's your first year with your horse. Not sure uh, if you got that tip yet. Uh, we give our um, sheep some salt too, some pink Himalayan sea salt that we get in bulk at the feed store. And uh, just make sure they can get that salt back in their body because they're just like us. They're sweating and they're uh, losing that, that body uh, salt. Okay, so remember that with your animals too. Uh, you want to make sure everybody's happy, well watered, and uh, plenty of shade and places to get out of the sun uh, in the summertime. So hopefully all this stuff was helpful to you guys. Uh, just stay cool out there. Here comes summertime. We got more videos on the way, and uh, let's go check in now uh, and see what's going on with the sun oven. All right, you guys just saw me getting something ready for the sun oven with some stew and some sweet potatoes. So I don't like to cook over the grill that much when it's so hot and the sun's beating on you. So I use a solar oven and on these hot days for like everything. So here's my sun oven. We're getting ready to go on a little um, shopping trip to cool off a little bit. And when we get back, we will have our meal and it's really almost ready pretty soon. And it'll just stay warm and we will be beating that heat. Right guys, so that's one idea right there. Plus, uh, we had some really good temperatures. I mean, it was like in the 70s and 80s and 50s and 60s at night. And then all of a sudden, bam, it was like 95. Yesterday, we, we so, tied a record. Yeah, fourth day of like Yeah, it's like been really August hot and, and, and very humid. You know what I mean? <laughs> So um, that's one thing that we do is we don't, uh, she doesn't stand over the grill and we definitely aren't cooking inside. Um, we also uh, get up early in the morning and we do our chores and then we relax in the afternoon and then do more chores in the evening. If it's really hot, then we'll, uh, we have a generator, we fire it up, turn on some fans or whatever. And we've, we have had a window unit in the cabin before. This we don't have one right year, now. Yeah. We had one our first year, but it shot craps and everything. We never replaced it, uh, but we could do that as well and just run a generator to run the air conditioner, okay? But like I said, we haven't done that. I don't like the sound of the generator. Yeah. So another thing that we do is um, what we're about to do now, and I'm not sure if we're gonna take you along with it, but we're gonna tell you about it, is we do our chores in the morning, and then in the afternoon, we uh, get in the truck, suck up AC truck. And, <laughs> not and every then, day though. Not every day. Yeah. yeah. Not BC truck, AC truck. <laughs> and then we uh, head into town and we hit some of our local hardware stores or stuff like that. And we get ideas and, and plan out future projects and whatever and, and basically just kind of hang out in there for a little while just to kind of get our bodies cooled off. Also, we can jump in the pond. Um, that works really well. Or we could also just turn on now our hydrants um, and have water on us and yeah, that kind of thing. Pleasant. I mean, even just to do dishes and have cold water come out, it totally cools you off. So yeah. it makes a huge difference. So those are some of the things that we're doing right now. Um, like I said, I think this is just a short video, just kind of uh, explaining to you guys what we do to beat the heat. We don't have, you know, $10,000 worth of solar panels uh, like a lot of people do. 
um, and that's what you're going to need if you're going to have an air conditioner running and stuff like that, refrigerators all the time. You're going to have to have a pretty hefty system, otherwise you're going to be running a generator. Um, and so we just cut out the middleman. The majority of the not hot times is a lot more than the really hot times. Yeah, and we cut out the middleman, just run the generator when we need to, if, that, if, if, if we need to. And uh, we just have to be creative. So this is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. Oh, I have one more creative thing to talk about. What? My aunt used to always say, she says, they used to lay there and put an ice cube on their belly. Right. To cool them off. They do that. Or a, a towel. But, yeah. But it melts pretty quick. <laughs> right. Especially in this weather. Yeah, totally. Right. So, yeah. And the other thing that's really good is, like, a lot of times we'll get a treat, we'll get a bag of ice. We put it in a, in a cooler or in the ice box or whatever. And then that way, if you have a cool drink, it'll totally cool you that off. That helps cool you off, That's too. another huge thing that really helps us get it through. Because during that kind of that time between 5 and 8, it gets when the house gets really hot, it's pretty tough. Right. So one thing you want to do is just regulate your heat. You don't want to overheat. You don't want to wear yourself and out. I'm overheating now. When, you, when you're in the heat, <laughs> you know, it, uh, it causes you to get tired and you make bad decisions and stuff. So just take it easy out there. Summer's coming. We're only in June. We have July and August left. I Hydrate. Half your body weight in ounces worth of water, and then when it's hot like this, he's drinking over two gallons. Two gallons. Two and make and sure you gallons. put your little yeah. uh, pink Himalayan sea salt in your water so you're getting a your pinch. minerals. Yep. yep. And we'll check you guys on the next video. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And don't forget, all the descriptions are below for the um, Sun Oven yeah. giveaway. And um, the um, webinar. And the 22nd. webinar on the 22nd. It's all free for you to sign up with. And that's it. We're out of here. See ya. This is the. Um, that I put in before we left today. We were gone all day and I just took it out and just kind of stirred it up and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to try it and see how it tastes. Oh, kind of different flair. Normally, you know, you put like regular potatoes in it. It kind of gives it a sweep. It was very good except for I think I might even put a little cinnamon in this one the next time I do it. So I give this one a thumbs up. I might even serve this with some um, white, just regular plain yogurt over it. It would be excellent. Give it a little zing. So I give this a thumbs up. Maybe a little cinnamon added to it and some yogurt. I made some bone broth today. And I put it in this morning about 7.30 in the morning. And I turned it away from the sun so it didn't get...